Hi, it's Mike Thornton here from Pretzels Expert, and today uh, we're showing you a really sort of sneak preview of a brand new product from Source Elements called Source Connect Now. And what you can see on the screen is very similar to Source Connect, but I'm inside a web browser. And on the other end of this call, I've got Rebecca Wilson from Source Elements. Rebecca, tell us a bit more about what I am experiencing right now because it seems really weird. Well, just recently, um, I don't know if you were at AES last year, but we showed a very uh, basic implementation of this in October. And it's in the Chrome web browser, which means it works on a Mac, Windows, Linux, Android, Chromebook. Um, we're making an iOS app. It's just a really accessible way to now see high quality audio without actually needing to install any software it's all very quite new and wonderful it obviously needs to be chrome um, yes. and uh, firefox does work with some limitations but um, chrome is definitely what you want and when you talk about high quality uh, give us a sort of benchmark are we talking sort of uh, aac sort of data compressed audio what, what sort of benchmark are we talking about so the codec is opus and opus is a codec that is designed to be very flexible depending on how it's used it's a very modern codec it's not as good as the aac in my opinion other people may disagree what's lovely about this chrome the codec is about 128k stereo i wow. can also do that in mono it's very, very nice for listening to music, for recording voice, you're going to get ISD in quality, no problem. The only difference between this and a software implementation or a hardware implementation, what happens when there's errors? Chrome will time stretch, it will drop the quality of the connection. You can't be guaranteed to get a time accurate recording. We're, to, we're talking radio rather than... Audio books, radio. Yeah. Yeah, so great. in essence, really, effectively, we're talking ISDN to quality really with as you say 128k yes. wow yes i we would very easily compare this to isdn and compare this to high quality mode and source connect and effectively all it needs is a web browser so if, if i had a somebody i needed to interview mm -hmm. presumably they can log into a page and then so yeah. they don't require other than their their computer they require, they require nothing, nothing except from and yeah, so, and a microphone. So in terms of doing news and current affairs, radio interviews, it's going to be way, way better than Skype, which seems to be becoming a, a, a well-used format for trying to do interviews uh, remotely for sort of mm -hmm. contributors that can't get to a studio. And like Skype, this will work on um, smartphones and tablets, iPads, so, everything. So will that um, be a separate app? So you'll have an app, presumably, for Android and for, and for, for, for iOS? Uh, at present, the Android one that we've got working behind the scenes is just a web page. It works on the Chrome browser and Android. Right. Whether we make an app depends on, you know, we'll see what happens. But iOS does need an app. Basically, you, you, you'll you create a small app because, again, I can see, again, for sort of radio uh, reporters out on location That's to have a small radio. App. Yeah. Now, what about sort of other applications for this? I mean, obviously, I can see all the broadcast and radio type applications, but uh, what other sort Well, there's of two interesting things that you can't see here. One is that you can invite up to eight other people to talk to all of us right now. And if we've all got the bandwidth, if we're all on fiber right now because we've defaulted the scene to high quality, you're all going to... I mean, obviously, there's still internet latency, but you can all engage in the production or in the, the, the monitoring review of something. So that's like the first time... With us, the first time you can very, very quickly and easily conference in people with the Source Connect type technology. As you say, you can do conferencing, but we're talking high quality rather than the low quality that maybe we've come to accept and tolerate right. with Skype or Google Chat yeah. or something like that. Yeah, we've been getting uh, a lot of requests from music teachers, different kinds of music teachers, so piano teachers, people who need to work remotely, people who are doing um, Pro Tools mixing, you know, teaching teaching how to do engineering, those kind of things. All of that has is, is, um, been really, really exciting for us. And we've been doing some great little demos with different kinds of teachers and students, schools as well. We've had a lot of interest from schools. Um, this makes it very, very easy for schools to work together with music schools and music departments to share their work.
in real time. I just, it's, it's, I'm still, in many respects, sort of, sort of struggling to get my head around how easy and how simple it is because we source connect i mean i i remember the very early days of source connect what four or five years ago when that when you mm. and i did a link up and i was on a a, a wet piece of string really i mean a, a very <laughs> you know a telephone line broadband and it was all my my upload speed was only just about coping and you know now i've got fibers of the cabinet decent interconnect connection we had the great fun of you and i doing a, a an adr session over you know with you in chicago and me here in manchester and it was just so easy and yet here is a whole new paradigm change in terms of i can do that but I don't even need Source Connect, the application. I can do it on on a web browser. Where's your audio coming to me from? Like, what's the physical input for your audio? Currently, my audio to you is coming from a decent mic into a decent mic pre, and I'm feeding that analog audio currently right. into the line input of my Mac Pro. Right. I'm sending to you from Pro Tools with a plugin called Source Nexus that. Yeah. Chrome is listening to our driver and Pro Tools is sending the audio out. And so I have my microphone on a track in Pro Tools and I can also send you music. So equally, I could be in Pro Tools with Source and linking Chrome into Source Nexus and therefore be recording you in, uh, in Pro Tools. Yeah, you could just record me straight out into Pro Tools right now. Wow. Without needing any cables. Yeah, so just using Source Nexus and linking it in still still just finding this completely we're just gonna have to spend more time with you on it so you yeah. can be like okay i can do this and this and this and i can do this and oh my god i can do this too and then we've got video that we haven't put back in yet we showed that at yeah. AES with video we showed this with five people video chatting and doing studio production of a real live song with a producer remotely it was beautiful yeah it just it really works Mike, so nice to talk to you, and we will speak soon, and I'll look forward to showing you how this is progressing. It's changing very, very quickly. Every week, major features. Not a problem. Thank you very much for spending the time. And, uh, yeah, we will show the Pro Tools community more as you build it. That sounds good. Speak soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. So I'm now just signing out, and we now get asked how good the quality was. Uh, I'm going to say perfect so that goes back to them and so here you can now see the basic page this is uh, still a beta version but give here gives you a sense conference up to 10 people isdn like workflow isdn type audio quality rebecca was talking to me using a, a shore a usb mic so she wasn't even using you know a full broadcast quality mic so there we go there's a a little insight into a brand new product from Source Elements. I still keep saying, I just can't get my head around how easy it is to use. It's going to have so many applications, especially in the in the radio and the uh, broadcast audio world, as Rebecca talked about, teachers being able to, and other musicians being able to collaborate, especially once they bring the video feature back in. So there we go. I'll uh, see you again soon.